Day 45. Today is day 45. Today I spoke to a coaching client who was having stress about some things in his professional life. And I asked him some questions around the thing that he had stress around. And we were able to ease his stress because we changed through the questioning his own perception of himself. He had given himself one label one dominant label as a as somebody who does a specific type of work and we were able to dissect if it was really true whether that label was appropriate and I think we we can get into these traps sometimes when we we label ourselves as something. And that's not to say that we, quote unquote, shouldn't label ourselves. I believe the labels are helpful to guide our behavior into creating ourselves into the person that we want to be. But sometimes the labels can trap us. And sometimes the label might have been true for a different season, but in this season needs to be updated or expanded in some way. It would be similar to somebody thinking of themselves as a basketball player, but let's say they they stop playing basketball after college. Well, Maybe, and maybe they have a a career-ending injury which doesn't allow them to play basketball anymore. Well, if you think of yourself as an athlete, it's less of a big deal than if you just think of yourself as a basketball player. And let's say you can never play sports again. If you think of yourself as a competitor, that is a lot more helpful than thinking of yourself as a basketball player because a competitor can is still breathing and can compete in something versus a basketball player who can only compete in basketball. And so it's worth looking at, questioning, analyzing, is the identity that I am living in currently serving me and what is the greater... Mm, the greater area that encompasses the thing that I'm doing. And sometimes it's good to get specific. If I'm going to be a basketball basketball player, I'm going to be the best basketball player in the world. Great. That that's helpful. But where it stops being helpful is if some change has gone on either in the background or in your life where you you can no longer be the best basketball player or you don't want to or basketball player as a whole isn't actually what you enjoy what you actually lo- love is competing versus for some people what they actually just love is basketball but ask yourself what are the parts of basketball that I enjoy so break it down to smaller pieces to figure out how you can expand that definition could be helpful depending on where you are in your life. I record these videos. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know if this is something you're struggling with in your life, but I figure if if I'm putting this message out there and it resonates, think about the different uh, parts of the thing that you enjoy are. And what are those parts? And 
is the label that you're using completely sufficient? Another thing on this topic is that I didn't go into it, this coaching session with this client, wanting to change his label at all. And even when he was breaking it down, I didn't have any desire to change it. I just wanted to understand. And I just wanted to learn about how he was coming to the conclusion that he was this. And based on the things that he was explaining to me, I asked questions about it with no judgment or no expectation for him to update his preference. And then together we came come to this new conclusion where he tells me, oh wow, I've thought of myself as this for five years and now I think of myself as that. That's a big change. <laughs> That's a cool change. That's a, that is awesome. If you can update your software to be able to look at yourself in a new way and then you can try it on, right? His original definition that he gave himself, it might be correct. I have no attachment to the new thing that we created together, the new identity that he stumbled upon through the question. But if he wants to take this new one, now it's a a new avenue for him to filter his life through. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So, hope that's helpful to you in some way and I'm really blessed to do the work that I do. Asking questions with curiosity and interest to help people come to new conclusions about themselves that help them learn about themselves. God bless. God bless you. God bless. Feel so blessed by God for for being able to do this work because it's humbling. That's all for today. I love you. I wish you well. And I genuinely hope you make this life everything that you desire. Have a great one. Peace.